Hello and welcome to another Zero Linux video. In this one, I was supposed to create a uh, an overview of KDE Linux, but apparently they prefer people not to make videos about it just yet because it's still in pre-alpha stages. So instead, I'll be making a video about an application I use on the daily, and it's my favorite application on Linux. And since not a lot of you out there know about it, I thought, why not? Let's instead make a video letting people know about it. And that application, my dear friends, is none other than Ferdium. Yes. I'll have a link uh, to, to it in the description, of course. But... Ferdium is a desktop app that helps you organize how you use your favorite apps by combining them into one application. It's based on Franz, a software already used by thousands of people, with the difference that Ferdium gives you many additional features and doesn't restrict usage. Furthermore, Ferdium is compatible with your existing Franz and Ferdi account. Ferdy is the predecessor of Ferdium. I'm not going to go into details what happened to Ferdy. Suffice it to say, the project died. So it was forked and turned into Ferdium. Uh, so you can continue right where you left off. So it's compatible with Franz and Ferdy, basically. So before we continue, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring the bell to get notified. Okay, with that out of the way, Ferdium is my favorite app. It's the thing that I use, like I said earlier, on a daily basis. Instead of having a separate app per service, so let's say I use Telegram, I use Fostodon, I use Discord, I use multiple apps. So instead of having multiple apps, not knowing how to organize them uh, on the screen, on the monitor, like having Telegram squished in the corner. Next to it, we have Discord squished in another corner and stuff like that. For window, for window Manager users, that's not a problem. They're used to this. But for desktop environment users, this is too messy. It messes up the, 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 the layout and everything. Why not consolidate everything into a single app? I, for example, use... Uh, all my services in Ferdium. Like that, I have Ferdium full screen. It's like opening them in a browser because basically this is Electron. It's a web wrapper. So all the applications I'm using, I'm using uh, the web versions of. Like Discord, it's the web version of Discord. WhatsApp, it's a web version of WhatsApp and so on and so forth. So less issues because as we all know by now that the Discord Electron app has a lot of issues. But if you use the web app the way it was intended to be used, less issues. I always use the Flatpak and the Flatpak is verified, means, which means it was it's maintained by the actual creators of Ferdium. It's not some unverified app or anything. It's officially supported by the Ferdium devs. So I install the Flatpak. The way I install the Flatpak is you, all you have to do is type Flatpak install dash Y to confirm Ferdium. Once that's done, you will end up with, the, uh, when you open the app, you'll be welcomed with this screen. You can use Ferdium with an account, like I have an account, I log into my account and all my services are there. That's what I love about Ferdium is I don't have to re-log in to all my services over and over again. All I have to do is log in to one centralized account. But for those of you out there who care about security and worry about stuff like that, you can skip the creation of an account and just use Ferdium without an account. I'm not going to log in here because I need to show you how to add the various services, so I'm going to use it without an account. You click that and you're welcomed with this. There's nothing. So get started and now you click all services and you'll see everything that's available for you to add. You got one password, 80LV, whatever that is. You get the idea. So I'm not going to read all those, but it supports a wide variety of services. I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. You have everything. So let's say... Okay, you can't find the service that you want. You just search for it. Like, I'm going to search for Discord. You just add it. And uh, what I love about this app also is you can force a, web a website that doesn't have a dark mode. You can enable dark mode for it right here. Enable dark mode. You got a lot of different settings. I don't mess with them. I just select enable dark mode. Save service. And it's going to add it and it's going to open up the uh, the login window, the Discord login window. And 
that's not the only thing. You go into settings and you go to appearance. You can modify the appearance. Split view mode. If you have uh, two services you want to see side by side or mo more than two, three, four, five, six in the same window, you can do that. I don't like the normal sidebar. I don't like to see the bar on the side. I like it on the top. So center and I use horizontal enable it so now it's at the top and I put slim and you can play around with the different settings inside the the app to uh, to discover you got privacy settings and w uh, where the privacy settings uh, play a big role is on discord when you want to go uh, initiate a voice call or a video call and you want your IP do not expose uh, IP and or expose IP some uh, different settings work for different people if you're if you're high on security just select this one and if it works for you use it and if you want to change your uh, Search engine, you can change it. I put it DuckDuckGo, restart later. So there's a various settings So per app. So um, you want to add another one. You just click the add button and let's add Gmail. And I want to enable the dark mode. Use dark mode, save service. And it will add it right next to it. And it will ask you to sign in, so on and so forth. You get the idea? So one app for multiple services. You can have multiple workspaces. So let's say, this is for your, your everyday side stuff. You want to create a new workspace for work. You, cre you call it work, create workspace. You don't want to add this. You want to add a different account for Google. So save it. And now it's going to be just Google. And that's a separate account. You can have multiple Google accounts on the same app because it uh, initiates a new instance. It's like opening a brand new browser. Uh, you can play around with notifications you go to the settings you go to advanced enable gpu acceleration it supports the gpu acceleration there you go uh, you can enable global shortcut to, to hide ferdium enable self-signed certificates that's if you are using something that is self-hosted and yeah that's about it and you can it has a it has an uh, integrated download manager like if people send you attachments to download via discord or email or what have you you ha it has a download manager with a resume capability. You can pause the download, resume, only if the server side it su uh, supports resume capability. You can, uh, you can right click, edit, uh, reload. Sometimes for me, Discord hangs. Uh, when somebody is sending me something, I just click reload, it reloads the page. Or you can disable per uh, service notifications, disable audio, disable dark mode, disable service. Yeah, sometimes I just, want to open Ferdium with the, uh, a certain service disabled. There you go. You, you can do that. You can re-enable it and you can clear cache. This is very handy when, for whatever reason, the, the page refuses to reload. You clear cache and that's per service cache. And if you want to delete a service, you just right click, delete service. Yes. It's a very simple app, straightforward. It lets you consolidate all your let's say socials and your to-do lists and your you can even add the uh, self-hosted services uh, like i'm gonna give you an example i have a self-hosted instance of my lab uh, i do custom custom website i just add the url start service and that's my home lab there you go i can add it as a service because at the end of the day this is just a web browser with various tabs <laughs> but with more features and options that your uh, otherwise your browser will not provide you because it gives you granularity so you can uh, customize each service separately from the other. Some of you will call it a glorified web browser in the comments, I know, but it's a glorified web browser with 10 times more features than your normal browser. And I will have a link uh, to, to the Flatpak in the description below. That's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't I, I wasn't able to bring you the KDE Linux video today, but I got to respect the wishes of the KDE devs. So instead, you got this one. This is a one of my favorite tools. So I was like, why not make a video about it? It's a very simple app. Let me know what do you think about this application in the comments below and uh, we'll discuss it down there. And I will see you in the next one.